the world's top 10 dangerous dog breeds. No matter where you land on the subject of nature versus nurture you have to realize that statistically certain the dogs are more prone to violence than others. Now, we agree that a well-trained dog will be a beautiful creature no matter what breed it is, but unfortunately not all dogs get the right dog obedience training. So in order to illuminate some important aspects, especially for people looking at dogs for sale, we decided to go through 10 of the most dangerous dog breeds that we are aware of. Use the follow list as a compass when attempting to adopt a dog and you'll be more informed as a result. Number 10. Bull Terriers. Bull Terriers will immediately remind people of their larger pit bull brethren. Bull Terriers are most widely known for their white skin, egg-shaped heads, long snout, and squat bodies. Though Bull Terriers aren't exceptionally aggressive, they have shown the tendency to incite altercations with other dogs at a higher rate than companion breeds. This aggression is thanks in large part to their prey drive which leads them to want confrontation with animals smaller than themselves. When raised right Bull Terriers are loving security dogs who have a knack for hunting, as well. Number 9. German Shepherd. The German Shepherd is one of the most common and popular dogs in North America. But they are also one of the most dangerous breeds on this list. German Shepherds are known for their size, striking color pattern, and proficiency in several service areas including work as police dogs. German Shepherds are enormously strong with a biting force of 1060 newtons. High energy and a tendency to attack smaller animals can make the German Shepherd a dangerous breed to have around the home. Number 8. Huskies. Huskies are probably our favorite dog on this list purely from the perspective of their appearance. Huskies are fluffy and typically have striking eyes to go along with a gorgeous color pattern. Huskies are well-trained animals who can be both fiercely loyal and incredibly secure when properly trained. However, Huskies can routinely not be given the training that they need in order to become safe, productive, loving dogs for families. Over the past 20 years we have seen 15 plus deaths related to the breed. With that being said, Huskies are kind to children and smaller breeds of dogs despite some of these statistics. Number 7. Doberman Pinscher. The Doberman Pinscher used to be utilized as a police dog but the practice has since been phased out due to how aggressive they can be when dealing with strangers. Dobermans are incredibly loyal and loving to their owner but their ability and propensity to snap at new dogs or people causes them to be considered dangerous. Dobermans are bigger dogs with strong jaws and narrow heads. Though deaths related to Doberman pinchers have gone down their reputation still remains. Number 6. Alaskan Malamutes. The Alaskan Malamute is a hard dog to peg as violent when you look at the best of the breed. Malamutes are fluffy, big-boned dogs that weigh in at around 100 pounds and just love to expend energy playing and cuddling. Malamutes are notoriously vocal with the ability to convey a ton of emotion through a range of different sounds. With this energy, however, comes the potential for danger when not properly trained. Malamutes are slow learners and they have boundless need for playtime, being run, and being trained. You have to be patient with these dogs and commit to getting them to learn properly or else you'll have problems on your hand as they grow older and larger. When the Malamute doesn't let its energy out in a positive way that is when you run into aggression issues. Number 5. Chow Chows. Considered one of the oldest dog breeds in the world, with ancestry dating back over 4,000 years to China, Chow Chows have a ton of history at their backs. Chow Chows are distinct dogs with squished up faces, squat bodies, and an abundance of overflow around their eyes and snout. Chow Chows weigh in around 70 pounds when fully grown and are considered adults after their first birthday. Chow Chows are stubborn and aggressive and they struggle to socialize with new animals. In order to get a well-behaved, kind, Chow Chow you need to focus on training as soon as they come into your care. Number 4. Caucasian Afkarka. The Caucasian Afkarka is a lesser-known breed that has been heralded for its fierce loyalty and ability to be trained in several different facets. The Afkarka is a shepherd type of breed that has been historically used for the protection of livestock from other predators. 
The avkarka is ferocious in its duties and will routinely snap at strangers or people it perceives to be a threat. In order to own a Caucasian avkarka you must commit yourself to training them from a young age and ensuring that the dog gets proper socializing rules instill early on. If trained properly the avkarka can be a wonderful addition to your house and a boon to the safety of your home. Number 3. Great Dane. Great Danes start out our list of most dangerous dog breeds though their size alone should insist they get a higher ranking. Great Danes can weigh in over 200 pounds and they can stand, on back legs, as tall as a full-grown adult human. Great Danes have a prolific need for exercise and care and they require a disciplined donor to reach their potential. Though they are huge, Great Danes are notoriously picky eaters and can quickly get into unhealthy weight without proper care of nutrition. Great Danes startle easily and respond poorly to harsh training. Anxiety issues are a problem for this breed and overexertion and anxiety can even cause them to die. So you have to have a firm but gentle hand when training a Great Dane or else you run the risk of rebellion or death. Number 2. Pitbulls. If you are at least semi-aware of the culture of violence around dogs then you know how common pitbulls are when considered as dangerous animals. Pitbulls, perhaps unfairly, get pegged as the most violent breed of dog in the world. This is due to a number of different issues all meeting in the middle to cause problems for the breed. Pitbulls, or just the pit bull, are the most common fighting dogs in the world. Pitbulls are purposely crossbred in order to maximize their fighting abilities. With disproportionately strong jaws, a sturdy body, and a culture of violence behind their name it is often hard to disassociate the breed from the violence they are attached to. With all of that being said, pit bulls can be extremely loving and loyal companions when pushed through the proper dog behavior training. American pit bull terriers, in fact, have proven to pass temperament tasks near the 90% rate when properly trained. Number 1. Boxers. The Boxer is one of the big dogs that we see most commonly associated with violence and danger right alongside pit bulls and rottweilers. Boxers are descended from Germany where they were bred for hunting. With short hair, a large frame, and strong jaws it was all the more obvious why these creatures were such a success at their job as hunters. Despite being considered a dangerous breed, Boxers are still one of the top 10 most popular breeds of dogs in the United States. Not notorious for having bad tempers, boxers are powerful and headstrong enough to become dangerous when not pushed through the proper dog training schools. A man in Arizona died back in 2013 when he tried to break up a fight between his boxer and another dog. Still, a well-trained boxer can be a loving addition to the home and a great peace of mind in terms of home security.